Tron. Well, it's that time of year again. <laughs> the time to celebrate what means most to us in life. John, this is so effed up. So, let's kick off the holiday season the right way with John Tron. Six scary things in video games. Why six? Because I could only think of six. Number six. <laughs> Nintendo games are so cool. So much colors and flowers and what the Jesus is that? I know I've been over this before, but I have to say, the moon from Majora's Mask is one of the most horrifying things I have ever seen in a video game. As if this game wasn't ominous enough, you have to go around everywhere knowing that that is lurking over you and breathing down your neck. A lot of the time, you can't even see it. You have to push up C and then turn around and look at it. It's just there. What brilliance! I think Majora's Mask understood what a lot of games don't. How to be truly scary. Probably. Stuff popping out at you is a bore fest of snores. Subtlety is where it's at. And subtle this was. Until it decides to wreck the entire world. Horrifying. Simply horrifying. Number 5 I've always had a hard time with water levels. I don't know why, but they're just unsettling to me. Especially when the first thing you see coming out of the tunnel in Banjo-Kazooie's Clanker's Cavern is this. I always thought the design there was ingenious, but eerie nonetheless. If I remember correctly, Clanker is Gruntilda's garbage disposal and some sort of giant metallic shark? But the weird thing is that he's all cut up! Isn't he a robot? That's just weird! Especially for an E-rated game. You gotta love the leniency back then. Turns out, though, that he's actually just misunderstood. But I don't care. I judge books by their covers. And I'm a communist. I never liked swimming next to this thing. It gave me chills, and I try not to look directly at it. Sort of reminds me of the eel from Super Mario 64. Perhaps that's what spawned my fear of the ocean depths. At the end of all this, though, you just gotta stop and appreciate. Through all the waste buckets of uninspired games, there lie a few visceral experiences, such as Clanker's Cavern, that remind us that we're still alive and breathing, even if it may have caused a few unwanted bedwettings. Number four. I know, Doom 3 was perhaps not the best modern translation of the classic horror series that it could have been, and it's true that after a while the scares become more like your six-year-old brother popping out at you and going, BOO! But let's face it, while it lasted, Doom 3 was the damn scariest thing next to Tainted Fruit Loops! And I'm talking about the opening in particular. This is another one of those cases where subtlety made things a whole lot scarier. First thing, as soon as you enter the game, you're greeted by a bunch of scientists and whatnot working on Mars. And as you progress through the facility, you gradually learn of their plights and how they have been experiencing supernatural phenomenon. This slowly draws you into the environment, and soon enough, you're twitching every time you see your own shadow. At this point, when the portal to hell finally breaks loose, you're cowering in fear just from the thought of having to see another zombie. Me. This wouldn't have been nearly as scary if, for instance, the game skipped all the opening material and dropped you right into the fray. Don't you love it when game creators put time, effort, and, dare I say it, thought into the design of their games? Oh, horror genre, if only Resident Evil 5 didn't rape you in the mouth. Number 3 Ever played Amnesia The Dark Descent? It's rather new, and let me tell you. It's perhaps the scariest game I've ever played. It's basically like a 3D point-and-click adventure game that focuses on immersion more than anything. In fact, it even tells you how to play the game for the best effect before it starts. How badass is that? I haven't completed it yet, so I'm not qualified to judge the game in its entirety, but I feel it's necessary to highlight a certain part of it that caused my balls to recede back into my body at the speed of Clint Eastwood. So you're going along, and what do you know? You come to a part where there's some water, and oh my god, what is that? You ever have a dream where something is chasing you, and you just can't get away fast enough? You just keep falling down? Well, that's what this part is like. There's some sort of ghost in the water here, and you're supposed to keep atop these here boxes, but if you slip into the water, he comes barreling towards you, and I guess it's some sort of innate and primeval instinct in me, but I just slam on the keyboard and try to clamber back on top of the boxes as fast as possible. In fact, this part is very reminiscent of the shark from Banjo-Kazooie and conjures the exact same horrifying feeling, just 300 times scarier. I'm gonna give this game a shout out and say that if you haven't played Amnesia The Dark Descent, you should. Right now. Gives them your manies. Oh, I didn't leave, I'm still here. 
I'm waiting. Number two. <laughs> Look at the colors. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> what is that, Nintendo? What is that? Why would you do that to us? That's like going up to your kid's bedroom, revving up a chainsaw with a Jason mask, and laughing your ass off at our poor snot dribbled faces. That piano from the haunted house level in Mario 64 is the bane of my existence. It gets me every time, even when I know it's coming. I guess it's because it happens just after you expect it to, or maybe just because the sound is terrifying in itself. I don't know, it's probably just because it's a freaking piano with teeth in it in Mario 64! To make matters worse, it does massive damage to you and you can't even kill it. You just have to run away with your dignity dribbling out from your pant leg. And you know what? I love it. <laughs> what was that? No. Anything but that. <laughs> These are the scariest thing ever, goddamn ever. Regenerators from Resident Evil 4 have caused me the most internal horror out of anything from any video game movie or presidential debate. It's that special kind of horror when you know it's coming in the back of your mind and you're dreading it and you don't know when until BAM! That noise they make is the stuff of nightmares and if that wasn't enough, they are pretty much invincible. They're weird, they move funny and... Resident Evil 4 got it right before 5 took a dump on its legacy. Lonely corridors filled with failed medical experiments. Now that is truly demonic. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Go to normalboots.com right now to see a new JonTron game review. And if you want to follow us on social networking, go to facebook.com slash jontronshow or twitter.com slash jontronshow.